today we are here with Fred and Renee and Fred and Renee have uh, an absolutely awesome DeSoto and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves a little bit and uh, uh, introduce the car and then we're gonna take a tour and ask them some questions so okay yeah I'm Fred and this is Renee obviously but anyway uh, yeah we've had this car since uh, 2016 uh, so that's when we started on it it was in uh, somewhat rough shape but um, we got it actually from a friend of ours the guy's name was Chuck Cochran and he was a friend of ours that was in the DeSoto Club and uh, he said when uh, when we went to a national DeSoto meet he said uh, you know he says uh, let's have let's have dinner sometime and then I'll uh, I'll sell you uh, one of one of my coops so and again there's only really about 15 of these coops left in existence so so we kind of jumped on it and uh, and uh, there was quite a bit of work to be done but it was a very very fun project and uh, he was able to to help us out with uh, getting most of the parts and things like that so uh, Renee here was responsible for picking the color and uh, do you remember the color yeah. name? But Cedar Bird, Bird Polychromatic. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. That, that is a mouthful. mouthful. And uh, what they used to, uh, it was called polychromatic because at the time the, uh, you know, they used for the metal flake, they actually used ground up fish scales or herring scales for, for, the, for the luminescence. Oh. Now in this paint job, it's, it's an original color. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's correlated actually to a 1984 Mick Brown and it's got a little bit of metallic in it. But uh, it's pretty much original. Uh, well, it is original. Um, it's got the uh, original engine, and uh, yeah, let's let's. Uh, you want to take a look at it? Let's open oh, sure. that up, and then all I right. want to talk about all this Art Deco on here because uh, okay, it is just sure. fantastic. All right. All right. So you so you were telling me this now. This is uh, you've done some work on this. You've yep. replaced the head. Yep. Yep. The you head. Replaced the air filter. Yep. And uh, this is a, um, a uh, 241 cubic inch. That's correct. Uh, about 100 horsepower. Exactly. Flat six. Yep. And uh, it had an interesting feature. So the, the first year that uh, DeSoto put this on. With the automatic choke. The automatic choke. Yep. And yep. then. Um, and, it, and again, it was the first car actually that had the engine over the front axle. That was something that was, that was a another revolutionary first. thing at the time. At the yep. time. Yep, yep. So a number of different things. Uh, it's the first year, as far as I know, is uh, on the uh, uh, for uh, overdrive. Um, it's uh, the very first car that was kind of a that had a unit body construction. Uh, before that, what they had is they just they had uh, you know it was a wooden frame and then they would yeah. just put the metal right over it. Right. And this was an actual unit body construction, not a complete unibody because it is the body is on the frame. But, uh, and uh, let's see, so again, it's the first car that had the passengers riding in between the two uh, axles. Uh, otherwise, previous to that, uh, the passengers rode on the axle, and then it's sort of like a teeter-totter when you go back and forth. So then that's why the, the passengers had more of a rougher ride rather than being right Between, in the middle. Okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, there were three uh, uh, Chrysler engineers working on it, Carl Breer, Fred Zeter, Owen Stelton, and um, so those were the engineers, and then they also uh, uh, consulted with Orville Wright. To get, really? Yeah, to get the uh, to, ah. to get the air flow, and so they tested it. it. They tested it in wind tunnels to get. So they did a lot of work in the wind tunnels to get the aerodynamics. So you said it had is the first one with overdrive, right? So how many speeds is it? How many? Well, well it's a it's a three speed on the floor. Uh, okay, it is yeah, three speed, but, but it is yeah. It's got is it three, three speed wheel. with overdrive or is the third? No, three speed with overdrive. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That is incredible. This is really a, a, a it, it first is. of its kind for it, so many things. It sure things. is. Another thing right here, you've got the uh, you know you've got the radiator and you've got a reservoir over here. Previous to that, it was all there. If you take a look at the Model A, you can see that you know the the air the, the cap was right above the radiator, and here it's got a reservoir to it. And then we were talking earlier too about these little chrome guides. Yes, hood guides for the hood guides. Yes, when you put the hood uh, guides to kind of keep the, the the hood when you when you close the hood. Ah. Oh. Yeah, to keep it so you don't, uh, so that doesn't get out of it. So while well, we have the camera down there, let's put the hood down again. Okay. And uh, we'll take a look at that and along with some of the, just the beautiful Art Deco. Yeah. Oops. And 
there you go. You can see how the chrome guides were right next to the uh, the hood. The yeah. hood. Yeah. So, um, so you were replaced uh, at least some of the caps on the fins. Right. Well, yeah. And I was lucky just... enough to get another grill so I could cherry pick some of the uh, uh, stainless sleeves. These are just stainless sleeves that go right over the bars, right over these and painted they snap bars, right in there. and they snap right in there. You know, it still amazes me how that thing opens up and doesn't hit the fender. Right. I just <laughs> exactly. love that. I also like, you know, the the the, the headlight design. You know, it was more oval. Right. Than round. Right. And it, and it was mounted to the car exactly. instead of a separate piece. Exactly. Um, I, I always love it when they use, you know, this must be uh, enameled glass up here on the top with the DeSoto logo. Yep. And they even labeled them which one was left exactly. and which, and which, which one was left right. And which one is right. <laughs> yep. And then uh, the, the this beautiful hood ornament yes. that yeah. comes down here in this chrome strip. Yes. And then, uh, so while we're at the front here, the, you know, you have a split windshield. Exactly. And so uh, each side opens individually with the crank. Exactly. And then the windshield wipers are vacuum run. Yeah, the windshield wipers are vacuum run, and they're uh, vacuum run, and they are individual motors. So the passenger had a had a knob to pull out, and so did the uh, driver. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so Let's, there wasn't any linkage in between the two. Okay. And then we'll step down here a little bit, and the the air. The these are just air vents, correct? Yeah, those are just air vents, and coal vents. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then let's we'll step down here and take a look at this at the side a little bit. Sure. I notice, and we'll get a picture of this in here. Yep. But on the rear fenders, mm -hmm. there's a replica of the hood ornament. Exactly. Yeah. It all. Matches. I love. I love that. Yes. It all kind of ties in together. <laughs> and then the you know the the the, the line above the front door yep. carries. Yes. All the way back. What a beautiful design. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's take a look inside. First of all, I'll show you there how the wind how the window works. Because it has the quarter the whole, window. The whole frame. Right. Goes the whole up. frame will roll with the window, and then they just had this that on uh, to lock it, and then you just the window goes down with the frame staying up. <laughs> and it works the same way with the with the with the wing window. Or wow! With the, with the vent window. I love that it all comes down at one. Give you some, yes. some, uh, so much bigger opening. Yes. So much exactly. airflow. Yep. Yep. And as far as uh, let's see, as far as oh, they had, had uh, the uh, driver side ashtray as well as the passenger side ashtray. Of uh, course. Period. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then where was the uh, where would be I can see the cranks for the windshield. Yes. Where was the crank? Where was the on-off switch for the windshield wipers? Oh, that's right up on top here. There's just a knob because oh, sure, kind of hard, kind of hard to see. But yeah, each nope. each one has got its own up on top. And was there. it just a pull or a? Yeah, twist? you just pull it out. You just okay. pull it out, and they work. Yep. Now the on the inside, I've noticed all this chrome. Yes. On the, around the seats. You yes, know? that's very very unique to the airflow very unique to the airflow that you know I, I i imagine it functions as a grab handle if there are passengers in the rear right. this is this is a two-door yeah it's a two-door and they called it a five passenger coupe two people in the back so supposedly two passengers in the back and then three in the front seat okay wow. jump seat. sure oh yeah and the two in the back are, are jump, are jump seats. seats because jump they, seat. fold, they fold they fold right up yep and then there you have extra storage then you have extra area. storage correct <laughs> yeah yeah, see here. This is this is yep. uh, this is our storage area. That's right in here. So, and of course these uh, jump seats just fold right up, right Oops, in the side. I, I love like, that. Yeah, that's like that's like. A, when do we see that in the modern cars? Land Rover. Yeah. Put those in. That's just awesome. Yep. And then they just sit on the pedestals there. Right. Yep. Wow. All the way to Florida. Fantastic. Wow. And we'll just step right back here. Yeah, if you want to open up, I can. Yeah, let's open it up. Now, that's, I, I'm, when that's Renee had said front. this is a spare tire holder, so it's not actually under <laughs> yeah, trunk. Basically, it, yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what, but that's what a lot of them were designed to do, especially True. in the coupes. Right, exactly. They weren't designed as, as you know, you bought the extra uh, steam trunk right. folder if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. You actually have storage underneath, inside. Inside. And right. the jump seats, and we'll, and we'll show that. Sure. Um, all right, I, I, lo I love some of these details here. I love the fact that it said yes. so and this is this is original. This will yes, be pretty exactly. correct. Yeah, we're very very fortunate to get these <laughs> to in get those such good light. shape too. Yes, Thank and you. also the gas cap. Gas cap too has as well. DS written on it. Yes, it does. Yep. 
how do you qualify for the You know, is that you know the split windows in the rear with the chrome strip. I just I, lo I love it. It's just kind of a copy of the front. Right. Right. And then I like these lines that come out. You know, I already mentioned this one here. Yes, I know. But it's then a, this one, yeah. this one with the chrome strip in the middle. Right. And then the slight the bulge to the fender. And I mean, yeah. just a beautiful design. The engineer yes, must is. have been an artist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, all, that's all I can think that's of. That's all Airstream. Right. <laughs> so, Fred and Renee, this is a beautiful car. I, what thank an you. absolute gem of history. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, and, and thank, thank you, you so much for sharing this story with us. But we have one more question for you. Sure. And uh, you can't have the same answer. Oh. <laughs> well, no, you could. You could. You could. <laughs> um, probably so, won't anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so our question is, what is your favorite thing about this car? My favorite thing is the dash, one of my favorites, yeah. and the skirting. Those are both exquisite. And the color. Yeah. I have three. And you have picked three. out and three. I three. That's all right. That doesn't three. make me much. No, <laughs> no, 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 not really. no, my favorite thing is that, uh, uh, of course, is the color. But uh, the big thing is the rarity of it, you know, because there is really only 15 of these in existence. And uh, uh, the fact that it's got leather, leather interior. Uh, you know, makes it another another factor that it makes it a, just a little bit yeah. more rare. So, and 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 it was and again, it was an option at the time. So, yeah. and and I mean, what a unique car! So many first time features, right? For 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 automobile history, exactly, and for Desoto. Yes. All right. Well, Fred and Renee, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting thank you, and a pleasure hearing your story on your car. Thank okay. You for okay. To us. Thank you.